I'm Chris Thacker, and this is The Curiosity Show from the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. We've undertaken the world's largest urban biodiversity survey. We call it the Super Project, and we've got volunteer observers from all across the city. They're turning up new species, making crazy observations, and learning all about nature as they do it. Today, we're taking The Curiosity Show on the road to meet a couple of the families that make our Super Project possible. Brian and his family have been museum members for the past couple of years, and they are part of our super project. They're super project site host, so they have an insect trap in their yard and have been doing surveys of their backyard biodiversity every month for us. Brian, first of all, thank you. Of thank you so much for making yeah, yeah. our science possible. We homeschool, so this for us was like a great way to have science right here at home, you know? Oh, right, because you have, so you have two young kids. How old are yes, they? I have a, a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. Were they always curious about nature? Uh, are they into it? Yeah, my son Leo is, he's like, he loves the bugs and um, lizards. We see a lot of lizards back here. So yeah, he, from the, as soon as he saw a lizard, he was hooked. We're gonna, we're gonna train Leo up, get him to be a scientist from the very start. Yeah. So can you tell me what's like, what are the, some of the amazing things you've seen, something unusual or new? My son discovered this two inch long, like blue and orange wasp, giant wasp. Ooh. And uh, we were taking pictures of it and you know, like getting real close to it. And it turns out it was a tarantula hawk, Okay. which is probably the most terrifying thing <laughs> I've ever heard of. It's a, <laughs> it's a giant wasp that hunts and kills tarantulas. And, it, and my first thought was, if it's here, are there tarantulas here? Like what else, what's it doing here? So this is Leo Palatucci. Leo is getting to be an expert on all the little creatures that live around his yard. And what kind of stuff do you find, Leo, when you go look around? I find sow bug killers. Sow bug, what's a sow bug killer? It's a spider that eats roly What about lizards? Do you ever see lizards? What kind of lizards? Alligator lizards mostly. Mostly? I saw two mating. Oh, did you really? Were they all tied together? Yeah, one was biting the other one's neck. You like doing all the science and looking for the bugs? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you want to do that when you get older, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. See, you're going to end up just like us. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leo. We are here in Altadena, and we are at the home of Amelia and John McDonald. Amelia and John are longtime museum members. They've been museum members since before their daughter Charlotte was born, and Charlotte's nine years old now. I guess she's usually the one who does the surveys? Absolutely. This is Charlotte's project. That's fantastic. So she's, so she's one of our youngest citizen scientists, and because this is kind of her jam, we're going to spend most of our time talking to her. Charlotte, I hear that it's your job to do the monthly walks around, to do the observations. Yeah. Tell me what the lizards are that you see around here. Western friends, sometimes um, whiptails, and they, um, and not very often, we see alligator lizards. What, what do you like about doing science? Well, it's really interesting to find out everything that's around you and to kind of study the earth and nature because it's really what we all live on. I couldn't have said it better myself. Maybe you can show us some of the things that you find. And I found a snail. <laughs> oh, that didn't take long. <laughs> Look at this. This is Cornu aspersum. This is our introduced garden snail. Very common. Look at this. Now Charlotte's got a little treat for us. What have we, uh, what have we got in here? We got a California. Um, common tarantula. So this is an actual tarantula that lives in California. What, uh, what preys on that? It's a tarantula hawk. What it does is it captures a tarantula and it puts it in its den and it lays its eggs on it. And when the eggs hatch, the um, tarantula hawks will eat the tarantula and that's how they'll will survive until they get old enough to catch their own prey. That seems like sort of a terrifying thing for a, such a young child to know. <laughs> Charlotte, this is fantastic. I am amazed at the amount of biology you know. And so uh, before we leave, I'm just going to get your information. I'm going to give it to our HR department and we're going to see about getting you to come over to entomology with us. Thank you so much. This was so much fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having me do this. You're very welcome. <laughs>